Matthew chapter 24. As Yeshua left the temple and was going on his way, his disciples approached him and acknowledged the wonder of the temple buildings. He told them, Don't you see all these? I assure you, not one stone here will be left on another that isn't demolished. As Yeshua sat on the Mount of Olives, his disciples approached, conversing among themselves, and asked, Tell us, when will these things happen, and what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? Brackets, Greek, Aion. Yeshua told them, Be careful not to let anyone deceive you. Many will come in my name, and acknowledge that I am the Messiah, and they will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of battles. But don't be frightened, because all of these things must happen, but it's not the end yet. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, epidemics, and earthquakes in various places. Yet all these events are only the beginning of sorrows. They'll hand you over to be tortured and killed, and you will be hated by all nations because of my name. Then many will fall away, and they'll hate each other and betray each other. Many false prophets will appear, and they will delude many because of the plethora, brackets Greek, plethuno, of Torah breakers. The love of many will decline. But anyone who perseveres to the end will receive eternal life. This good news of the kingdom will be announced throughout the world as a witness to every nation. And then the end will come. When you see the sign of the detestable desolation mentioned by the prophet Daniel, Standing in the Kaddish place, the reader must understand. Then those of you who are in Judea should escape to the mountain. No one on the roof should come down and get anything out of their house, and no one in the field should return to get their clothing. But I pity pregnant and nursing mothers in those days. Pray that your flight won't be during foul weather or on the Sabbath. There will be great tribulation then, such as never occurred from the beginning of the world until now, and will by no means ever happen again. If it weren't for those days being terminated, no one would survive. But for the sake of the select, those days will be terminated. Then, if anyone tells you, Messiah is over here, or he is over there, don't believe them. False messiahs and false prophets, brackets, Greek, pseudoprophetus, will appear and perform great miracles to deceive, if possible, even the select. Remember, I told you this in advance. So, if they ever tell you, look, he's in the desert, don't go there, or look, he's in a secret room, don't believe them. Like lightning coming out of the east and flashing to the west, that is how the coming of the human son will be. Wherever the carcass is, that's where the eagles are gathered. Immediately after the time of the tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon won't shed her light, and shooting stars will fall from the sky, and the inherent power of the skies will be shaken. Then the miraculous sign of the human sun will be seen in the sky. Then all the nations on the earth will mourn. When they see the human sun coming on the clouds in the sky with great power and splendor, then he will send out his spirit messengers with a loud shofar blast, and they will gather together his selected people from the four winds, north, south, east, and west, from one furthermost bound of the horizon, brackets, heaven to the other. Learn from the analogy of the fig tree. As soon as its branches become tender and it produces leaves, you know that summer is imminent.
Similarly, when you actually see all these things, you will know that he is near the door. It is certain that the Israelite nation, brackets, Aramaic, Sherbatha, meaning tribe, people, and nation, will not disappear before all these things will have taken place. Heaven and earth will arrive, and my words will never disappear. But no one knows the day or hour, not even the messengers in heaven, but the Father alone. At the advent, brackets, Greek, parousia, of the human son, it will be just like it was in the time of Noah. Just like before the flood, people were eating and drinking, taking wives and giving them to husbands right up until the day when Noah entered the ark, and they were clueless until the flood came and swept them all away. That is how it will be at the advent of the human son. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and one will be left behind. Two women will be grinding grain at the mill, one will be taken and one will be left behind. So watch, since you don't know the exact time when your master is coming. But be assured that if the manager of the home had known in which watch the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not allowed his house to be broken into. So remain prepared, because the human son will arrive at a time when he is least expected. So who is the faithful and wise servant who was put in charge of the household by the master to give them their food at the appointed time. Blessed is the servant who will actually be prepared for work when his master appears. I am certain that he will place him over everything he has. But if that servant is evil and thinks to himself, My master has delayed his return and begins to beat his fellow servants and begin eating and drinking with drunkards. Then his master will arrive on a day when he isn't expecting him and at an hour that he isn't considering and will cut him in pieces and assign him his destiny with the pretenders. There will be wailing and grinding of teeth.